In the last video, we looked at this Alice in Wonderland text and we were able to extract all the verbs and verb phrases from the text. But one of the problems is, is that verbs, like in most languages, but also in English, uh, are inflected, which means they conjugate depending upon the person doing the action, the person receiving the action, or the time uh, that the action took place, past, present, future. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce not only verbs, but nouns as well, down to what is known as its lemma. And what a lemma is, and this is L-E-M-M-A, lemma, is the root, essentially, of that word. So if it's a noun, it's the root noun. So if you have a noun that's plural, so boys, the lemma would be boy. If you have a verb and the verb is uh, uh, con uh, congratulating, it'll be reduced to congratulate. The infini uh, infinitive, and the uh, if you're familiar with the uh, syntax of uh, verbs. So what we're going to do now is reduce all these verbs and nouns down to their lemma. Now you might be asking yourself, why bother doing that? Well, if you're trying to actually identify and find patterns in a text, and you're looking for, uh, let's just say, the occurrence of a word or the frequency of a word, you don't want to have to look for all different types of verb forms or noun forms. Instead, you really want to just search for how many times the lemma appears, and it, what it'll do is it'll find all examples of a verb no matter what tense or person it is in in your text. So let's go ahead and delete this right here from what we were working with in our last video, and we're going to work again with just sentence. In our sentence, if you don't remember, is this bit right here, this uh, this long sentence between lines 9 and 13. And if you remember correctly, we're separating out all these line breaks, so it's one long continuous text. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for word and sentence, and what that's going to do is it's going to iterate across all uh, NLP uh, objects here, so all spacey objects, so, so she was considering. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if the words we're going to say if the words dot pos underscore if that and that's going to be the part of speech so if it's a noun a verb etc so if it is equal to let's just say verb for right now then what we want is we want to print off print off word and this is going to print off the word and then we also want to print off word and this is the key part dot lemma Oop, lemma and underscore and what this is going to do is it's going to go through this first sentence and iterate across all these words here. And it's only going to print off, if we've done this right, <laughs> and we have, I believe, it's only going to print off the word that is a verb and its lemma next to each other on each line. So let's run this. And it's gone through that first line. And what you can see here is it has done precisely what I promised. It has gone through and it's reduced the word considering down to consider. The word could remains could because that's the way it's that's its root. Uh, made the past tense was uh, transformed into make. Feel stays the same and on down the list. What we have here is the identification of lemmas or the identification of all verbs and then the reduction of those verbs down to a simple lemma. And like I said, we can do this with nouns and we see this right here. Uh, daisies has been reduced to daisy, eyes to eye. All of these are singular, so they've all stayed the same. But hopefully you can see the pow power of reducing a text down to uh, words that are purely lemmas. If you do that, you can count the frequency of word usage, the frequency of uh, verbs or nouns, regardless of their form in your text. So that's kind of one of the more powerful ways in which you can analyze a text in Spacey by reducing the data down to its root form. That's going to be all for this video, though. Thank you for listening. And the next video, we're going to start working with rudimentarily how to start to visualize this data because Spacey comes with a very powerful onboard data visualization tool. That's all for now, though. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below and visit us at pythonhumanities.com.